Mr. President. I'm drawing a cat. Mr. President. Oh, what? The illegals have breached the wall. My cat. How could they breach the wall? I built an unbelievable wall. It looks like you are fake news. It looks like they are using fake. balloons to fly over the wall. Balloons. Okay. How do balloons work? Did someone say, how do balloons work? The reason these balloons are working has to do with the same principle that keeps boats floating. Have you ever tried to push an empty container into water? If it's airtight, it's nearly impossible. This is because the pressure exerted by the air in the atmosphere is far smaller than the pressure exerted by the water below it. So this means the pressure from the water, which is trying to push it up, is larger than the atmosphere's force, trying to push it down. This is because the density of air is far lower than the density of water. But I know what you're thinking. But the air in hot air balloons is the same as the air around it. Wrong. Charles Law states that the relationship between volume and temperature is proportional. This means the more the temperature increases, the more the volume does. So the design of hot air balloons uses these two things ingeniously. Remember, when the hot air gets warmer, it takes up more space, but it doesn't gain any atoms. This means that it's less dense than the air around it, making it move up. Well, killing them would be a PR hurricane that we don't need, so we, we need to figure out some safe ways to get them down on our terms. You know what? That idea, it's great. I've heard some other ideas. I don't think they're ideas that are better than yours. So, Mr. Scientist, you seem like a smart person. I'm a smart person. My IQ is one of the highest. So let me tell you, would it work if we use our technology, which we have, because we're the United States of America, to cool down all of the temperatures in America so that it would lower down the hot air balloons. Well, Mr. President, that would work. That would, that would make a big temperature difference and the balloons would just rise higher. Okay, that makes sense. I knew that. So why don't we just add more gas into the balloons so that the, so, there's so much weight that it just weighs the balloons down. But if we add too much gas, then the balloons would pop, and that would be a bad, a bad thing. Right, okay. Okay, right, that would be a, a PR hurricane. Which is the last thing we, we need. We, uh, why do you always need to talk? You're fired. Just kidding. All right, why don't we, uh, why don't we increase our... The R in PV equals NRT, the ideal gas law. Why don't we increase it? But it's a constant. You can't change the constant. What? You can't change the constant. It's a constant. Well, I will sign an executive order right now. Mr. The President. The constant. Mr. President. The constant is repealed. That's not how you it works, Mr. Fake. President. I didn't realize executive orders couldn't do this. I thought they could repeal laws, but apparently not. Well, I have another idea. Why don't we decrease the air pressure all around? Well, that would work. Um, it would make the, the pressure change so the balloon would slowly float to the ground. That would work out, Mr. President. I think you're a genius. I know.